Michael Baxter. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Not too much. How's the new job? It's pretty cool. It's uh, it's different. I mean, they're like I miss some things about the college coaching game, but uh, it, it's still wrestling and it's still you know it's a good organization with great people, and so you know I'm having a great time doing it. I gotta tell you this: we're in a football event right now. You're OAC, te you're technically OAC, right? So it's not all yeah. wrestling. Yeah. I mean, we're at a football event. Listen. You are a baby, literally. Like it looks like I'm, I feel like I'm interviewing one of my sons right now. You see the last like four guys. Massive. These football Massive. coaches are huge. Massive, I definitely dude. stick out like a sore thumb. It's crazy. Yeah. Right? Did you see Beanie Wells? Yeah, he's huge. Did you see Winfield? Yes. Or, uh, 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 Miller? Uh, Garnett. I did not. I saw yeah. Braxton Miller last Oh my God, too. dude, they're massive. Yeah, and right. Braxton Miller was like a small quarterback for like for like those people. Uh, uh, it was yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like the NFL types are just massive humans. Like, yeah, we did. It, it's crazy. It's unreal. It's like, yeah. yes, it's not even like, um, but when you come here, you know, you get to see super high level youth football. Yeah. Right? It gets super competitive. Those guys seem kind of low key and chill most of the time now, right? Like, Sometimes, dads, you, yeah. Well, but most of you guys are like your crowd control all the time. That's most of what we're doing right here is making sure. I mean, th this is football. There's like high emotions in this, and you know, any any youth sports. We're just trying to make sure that you know everything's staying under control, and they're they're concerned about like their kids like getting better at it and having fun rather than you know winning isn't everything at this level. It's like learning to love the sport you're in and developing through that. First time you haven't been in a college or high school wrestling season in how many years? Well, it's the first time I've been in a college season. I, it's got to be... 15 years? Yeah, since I started going to college in 08. So there was one year I took like a, a hiatus year doing cardiac rehab stuff. Um, I, but I got my master's in. But after that, it's been either Mercyhurst or Coker. been all over the place. So and it's got, definitely different. I got your fix, though. Go watch all the stuff last night. From John Carroll versus Lake Erie College. I saw, I saw there you, you go. down there, yeah. There you go. Yeah. And it was actually pretty fun. Uh, they didn't keep score, so I didn't like that. But mm -hmm. they had two mats. It was going. Very competitive matches. It was a good time, right? Was, so go get your fix. It was kind of funny yesterday because we were doing weigh-ins for like 900 kids for football here. And while we're doing weigh-ins, Mercyhurst is doing the wrestle-offs. So I'm like looking, seeing like what's going on yeah. in the wrestle -offs, And you recruited those. those kids. Yeah, and that was the hard, yeah. You're so tied to them. It is. You, you develop those relationships with those kids over a year, you know, over a year. And then all of a sudden you're not there and they're there. It, it's hard to say, you know, you have to do what's right for you. But also, you know, I still care and hope they do well. The next comment is not a diss on Mercyhurst. Mm-hmm. Or college wrestling, mm -hmm. D two, D three, D one, none of them. Yeah. So, so everybody, before they jump me, is it sweet not being in poverty anymore? Oh yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I'm not listen. <laughs> no, I'm not, you're not wrong. Am I, like, am I right? That, like, so that was a big. It's insulting what they pay you. It guys. is, but it was a big move. A big reason for the move is like I, you know, I'm 32 and I started craving some stability in my life, and there's not a ton of stability in that game, and that's not just in terms of like financial. That's in terms of like you know, you're on the recruiting trail all the time, and you're you're you really don't get to set up roots anywhere, and so that is that was one of the biggest pulls, and then on top of that with Jude and Jared here, like they're just great people. I like working with great people. Coach Whaler's great people as well. So I went from a situation with being around people I like and respect and doing it here as well. You go from dealing with a place like Mercyhurst, Coker, you're all these different like D2, mm -hmm. NAIA type level schools, yeah. right? Now you're dealing with Shores and Islands. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with Sparse Sparse. You're dealing with Cedar Park. You're dealing with multi, multi, multi-million dollar organizations that have money, Yeah. right? It's not like, hey, we're cutting your budget again this yeah, year. Exactly. Hey, you guys are going to have to figure out how you're going to recruit. Maybe hit your ride with Matt Hill over at Edinburgh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right? And, and that's really cool. Because, are you and Gannon are going to have to wrestle four oh, instead of five times this year? Seriously, like, oh, like that COVID year when we did, that was terrible. But, yeah, it works really well because all these organizations – it's a very different type of job. You're dealing with much larger, or like dealing with Cedar Point and Sports Force and Lake Erie Shores and Islands. Like these are Cedar Point uh, uh, Sports Center. Yeah, right? like all yeah Cedar Point Sports Center. All these places are like so much bigger than what I'm used to. And it's cool to interact with them and and, and work with them. And, and for the most part, so far, everything's been seamless and flawless as far. Right. Yeah. I love your barbarian yeah, gear. Uh, you are a true, true barbarian apparel guy. You know, listen. I, every chance I have it, uh, when I can push Barbarian Apparel, I do, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I'm going to get right in there. Uh, that is the backpack that Scotty 
gray guy and I wore the sun. That's right. Uh, uh, out of Washington. Washington. Those yeah. Backpacks. Yeah. No, I'm rocking. Yeah. yeah you're rocking rock, the tech. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Josh Custom? Yeah. Or did Drew and Jared do that? Jared did that, yeah. Jared did that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Josh does custom. He'll do a custom. Oh, thing. yeah. He'll, yeah, he'll look you up. He does good. So you're conquering the impossible. I'm trying to, man. I like that. That's what we're doing. All right. You got anything else for me? No, nah, I did just. Pumped to be here. This is a cool event and ready to keep rolling. All right. Well, you do have to... Uh, Shout out some defense soap. Defense soap. Defend what you built. It's the only soap you can shower with that guarantees you'll stay clean and disease-free. I, 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 listen, I'm super <laughs> fired up that you could do that. It's all natural. No, I know. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the shameless plugs. I appreciate your time. Defend what you built and conquer the impossible. Absolutely.